Here's problem 921. It's related to problem 920 that we just finished. It's actually the same problem but looking at it in the y direction. A two kilogram object moving three meters per second strikes a one kilogram object initially at rest. Immediately after the collision, the two kilogram object has a velocity of 1.5 meters per second directed 30 degrees from its initial direction of motion. What is the y component of the velocity of the one kilogram object just after the collision? So we have a mass 1, which is 2 kilograms, moving in the x direction, v1 initial x, uh, 3 meters per second, to collide with mass 2, which is 1 kilogram, initial velocity in the x direction of 0. After the collision, mass 1, continues with a velocity one final of 1.5 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal. Mass 2 continues with some final V2 final velocity at an unknown angle. Alright, we solved this in the x direction, but what about the y direction? because the momentum should be conserved in any direction we choose, so it should be conserved in the y direction as well. Let's find our final velocity for the mass 1 in the y direction. v1 final in the y direction is going to be equal to v1 final times the sine uh, 30 degrees. So that's going to be equal to 1.5 times the sine of 30, which is 1 half. So this would be 0.75 meters per second. All right. So here's our one equation to rule them all in the y direction only. m1 v1 initial in the y direction plus m2 v2 initial in the y direction equals m1 v1 final in the y direction plus m2 v2 final in the y direction. Now, in the y direction, neither particle is moving in that direction to begin with. So actually, v1 initial in the y direction is 0, and v2 initial in the y direction is 0 as well. We had no initial momentum in the y direction. So the way things look like now, we have 0 is equal to mass 1, v1 final in the y direction, plus mass 2, v2 final, in the y direction. Well, we just figured out v1 final in the y direction, so solving this for v2 final in the y direction, we have v2 final in the y direction will equal a negative mass 1, v1 final in the y direction, divided by mass 2. This will be a negative 2, times v1 final in the y direction, 0.75, divided by mass 2, which is 1. This would be a negative 1.5 meters per second. The fact that it's negative just means that it was moving in a negative y direction for mass 2, which is indicated correctly on our diagram here. All right, so we have the final velocity in the y direction for mass 2, Note that from, from problem 20, we had the final velocity in the x direction for mass 2, and that was 3.4 meters per second. Based on this information, we can actually figure out what that final angle was for the deflection for mass 2. Let's go ahead and do that since it's fun. So we have this situation where mass 2 is coming down here with some final v2 final, the x component is 3.4 meters per second, the y component is a negative 1.5 meters per second. So as we're looking at it here, we got 3.4 in the x direction, 1.5 in the negative y direction. The total magnitude, v2 final, would then be a negative 1.5 squared 
plus 3.4 squared square root and that would be what? three point seven two meters per second so that is the final velocity at least the speed of mass two the angle would be the inverse tangent of the y over the x so we'll have one point five over three point four and that is twenty three point eight degrees and in this case, that's going to be this angle right here. So that's going to be below the x-axis. So that will be below the positive x-axis. So this is more information than we were asked for, but in other problems we, we may be asked for this. The final velocity of mass 2 in terms of speed and its angle 23.8 degrees below the positive x-axis. Thank <laughs> you.